Hello everyone, I'm here with the new scanner mouse from LG and I'm going to try to show you some new features. First, this is the program that's open. This is the GUI on the bottom right hand side. We're going to initiate a scan by pressing the scan button on the left side of the mouse. It begins right away. It's very easy to use, we just move it back and forth. Uh, this is a random magazine that we have. Uh, interesting to note that if we lift this mouse, an icon appears saying that it is not contacting the paper, and if we move it to a different part of the uh, unscanned area, it'll tell us to move over already scanned areas. So let's bring it back. Keep scanning. This auto sizes, as you can see here. And I think that's good enough. We're going to stop the scan by pressing the same button. Which brings us to the editing window. Here, we can resize this highlighted box to select the information we want. We can rotate it. And we can also use an eraser. Here, it's just like paint. Move it back and forth, it erases everything. So when we're done selecting the information that we want to use, I'm going to use, let's, let's do this much right here we just hit OK and it brings us with this buffering icon this means that the OCR technology is currently working it's finished now so I will open up a Microsoft Word document and here we can paste this as an image like so we can also paste it as text in case we don't want the pictures like that uh, that was the pasting part we can also share this through email, uh, Facebook. Here we're going to open up Facebook. And the important thing is we have a ah, Keep Me okay. Logged In box. If we have the Keep Me Logged In box checked, then we do not have to log in continuously. So I've already logged in before, and I've already had it checked. And as you can see, this is what we scanned. We can add a message, my magazine, and post it. This will post it straight onto our Facebook page. Let's see it. Show on Facebook. And here it is. This is what we scanned. And it's on Facebook. Now, uh, if we want to, we can also share on Twitter, Flickr, Weibo. Some other things to note. Under Apps, there's an Evernote cloud sharing system. Here we've already uploaded what we scanned onto this cloud program. Here we can share this to any Wi-Fi device that is connected to this cloud program. It's very convenient. We can also use Google Translate. Clicking on the button will automatically open a Google Translate window. And here we can just paste the text. And depending on Google's program, we can choose any of the various languages we want like Vietnamese. Wow. All right. And another thing to note is under save, we can save this scanned file through many different file formats. Right now, the supported file formats are PNG, JPEG, TIFF, BMP, PDF, Excel, and Word. That makes things very convenient. Uh, another thing to note is under settings, Right now we have our settings, uh, the scan resolution being the most important one, as full. Now there are many different, uh, different types of scan resolutions like low, medium, high. However, it's important to note that the higher the scan resolution, the more accurate the OCR technology. While we're talking about the OCR technology, under text recognition, we can choose up to three different languages to translate simultaneously. or. In our presentation here, we only chose English because the more languages that we select, the less accurate the OCR could be. So that wrap things up for our feature presentation. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you try this out for yourself.